What's up everybody, it's Natural Boss and today I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I'm going to be using um, a permanent color and that is the L'Oreal, what is it, high color browns for dark hair only in soft auburn. And I bought about five tubes of these. I don't think I'm going to use all five. Probably I'll probably try to just start with just two. And so um, let's see what I have here. So I have my gloves and this is not a box dye. This is professional dye so it doesn't come with gloves or anything like that. You're on your own. Um, I have a comb to section my hair. I have a brush to mix and also to apply the color to my hair. I have a little uh, measuring cup to measure the developer. I have a mixing bowl. I haven't used this in so long. This is actually <laughs> kind of dusty, but my good old mixing bowl. I had the color, and like I said, I bought um, five of these. Um, I recommend buying more than what you think you use, but I don't really think I'll need five. And then last but not least, I have um, 30 volume developer, and that is what's recommended with this color. I got L'Oreal. You don't have to get L'Oreal. I don't think any kind, but use 30 if you're gonna use this. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, let's get this party started. Um, I don't know what color my hair is really going to turn out to be because I've dyed my hair so many times and you can't technically, um, color over color, but as some of you have watched some of my videos, um, several weeks ago, I used the color oops and removed the dark color dye from my hair. So hopefully this will take, if not, um, it's not really that big of a deal. I want my hair a different color, but it's not, you know, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it or anything. I'll just try something else. So let's get this party started. So the instructions say to use 2.5 ounces of developer for each tube of dye. So since I started off using two tubes of dye, I use five ounces of developer. And so I'm just mixing it in a mixing bowl. Um, you also can mix this in a applicator bottle and just shake it instead. I thought this might be easier to mix it if I do it in a bowl. Surprisingly, it actually took um, longer than I thought to mix it. And so now after I mix it, it kind of turns into a pinkish color. And I'm making sure that I get at least most of the lumps out of it. So I finished applying to the length of my hair and as you guys saw that I did not do the roots because I don't want to have hot roots and um, the roots of my hair I already know I've never had color on it so I know that's going to process fast not to mention my scalp is hot so I'm going to let this process for about 20 minutes on the ends and then I'm going to come do the roots of my hair. I'm not going to show you guys that it's just the same process except doing your roots and then I'll let it process for another 10 minutes and then I'll rinse it and shampoo and all that and then I'll let you guys see the results. Okay, so I let the um, color sit on my hair for 20 minutes with a cap on. I did go in the dryer for a little while but not the whole 20 minutes. And then I came back and I did my roots. And I do want to tell you guys, um, this stuff is so watery that I found it easier to apply just putting it in an applicator bottle. So that's, if I use this again, that's what I'm going to do. And this was much easier to do my roots using this and less messy. Um, so now I'm just letting it sit for 10 minutes 
um, the process, and I can already tell it's processing in my roots already. The color is bad in here. I'm going to have better lighting when I show you guys the results, but um, I can already tell it's like my roots just go lightning fast. So I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes, no more than that, and I'm going to rinse it, shampoo it, condition it, and then I will um, show you guys the results. Oh, another thing, another thing that I forgot to tell you that I said I originally used two tubes of the color. Um, I only had a tiny bit left, and so I did have to open up another tube in order to do my roots. But if you, of course, if your hair is not as long as mine, you would not have to do that because it kind of goes a long way, but I just kind of have a lot of hair, so that's why. But anyway, I will see you guys back after I um, let it sit, rinse, and shampoo and condition. Okay, so it's the next day and I just twisted my hair up and, you know, did my usual routine. And so this is what it looks like. I know the lighting's bad. You guys can barely see it. As you can see, I did get the hot roots. I kind of was expecting that. So that really um, processed quickly. I had some edge control on it. So it's actually, it's really lighter than that. And it definitely, um, it doesn't look as red as this in person. Like right there, it's actually kind of a blondish red color it's kind of weird but it doesn't look real bad plus since I wear my hair like in its natural state and I always have a lot of product in my hair it really doesn't look that bad um let me try to see if I can go in some better light okay like I have some <laughs> direct <laughs> sunlight on my hair you kind of see I mean it lifted it pretty good considering that I had all kinds of um dark hair dye in my hair and I've dyed my hair over and over again multiple times so I'll say this did lift pretty good I didn't have to like pre bleach it or anything um they say that that well people have said that let me go back over here people say that this color this L'Oreal L'Oreal high color doesn't have bleach in it to be completely honest I really don't know I really didn't care I just didn't want to do that hardcore bleaching process I didn't notice my me losing any hair or anything like that my hair feels a little dry but it kind of always does um, after I get it colored and then I just have to moisturize it and it'll bounce back in about a week um, I did I forgot to tell you guys I did do a Olaplex number three treatment on my hair as well last night I, I will say that for this L'Oreal high color I really don't <laughs> it's hot I'm sweating I really don't see that it's any better than the Clairol textures and tones that I've used for years. And so I'm probably actually, when I touch up my roots, that's, as soon as I find a color that I want to use, I'm probably going to go back to that because this is just more hassle mixing it with the developer and all that and it's more expensive. So I really just don't see anything better. I think my hair felt more, more moisturized when I used the Clairol textures and tone tones. But anyway, so here it is. This is my little color job. Um, I actually like the color. I didn't know what I expected Auburn to be, but I actually like this color, so I'm pretty happy. But anyway, if you have any questions, as usual, put them in or comments. Go ahead, leave them in the comments. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to my channel and click on the notifications button. And I will see you in the next video.